Hello, my name is Phil James. I'm a UK trade investment international trade advisor. I'm working with Alan, who is part of the LEPS group. Um, and basically, we've come up with some ideas or an idea about how we can increase the efficiency of the UK TI, particularly the trade advisors, and more importantly, how we can better partner the SMEs throughout the region. Okay. Um, really, the opportunity that we looked at, and this kind of came from some experiences in ITA, but also listening to comments in the room this morning from various SMEs who are here, was how can we make UK TI services more well known to SMEs to assist companies to enter or develop um, their international trade facilities? It's very marked that a number of the companies here were not even aware of what an international trade advisor was, which I think is a little bit uh, uh, disappointing, but something that can be resolved. So Alan and I thought about this and wondered, let's twist it around a little bit. So the idea we came up with, or uh, one of the descriptions, what does an SME require from UKTI? What does the customer actually require? Um, once we know that, only then can UKTI provide a service that will succeed. At the moment we have great services, but how do we communicate to, the com to those companies? And are those services exactly what the SMEs require? So, the stakeholders that will benefit from this result will obviously be the SME because they will have a greater understanding of what UKTI do, and UKTI will have more connection with the SMEs, which can only be a good thing. Um, how do we know if this succeeds? Well, I think basically we'll have a more efficient entry to, to export for our SME partners as well. I think I'll just stress that word partners, it's very important that we think about that. Um, the partnership will be between UKTI and the SME as well. We can't work in splendid isolation and we can't tell um, SMEs what to do and SMEs need to feed back to us with UKTI. Um, the main risk of challenge, of course, is if we speak to lots of different SMEs, they potential loss of focus from the UKTI when um, we are servicing too many markets as well. So we have to be realistic as about how to manage this process. Um, the support that we require is very important. Obviously, there are numerous trade bodies, professional networks, banks, LEPs, who all who are in contact with SMEs as well. So we need to work very closely with them to get that contact and to understand what their customers want as well. Um, as we move forward, obviously we need to raise the profile of UKTI. I think a very important part of this is the international trade advisors. I think we need to make it clear that international trade advisors come from many different parts of industry and also all of them have a lot of experience in export, be it with startups, blue chips or both. Um, we need to improve communication as well between the trade bodies, professional networks, the banks and the LOP. We need to talk to them more and more and more. The timescales we're looking at this is consultation, probably three months, that's consultation between UKTI and the SMEs. Uh, a plan, put together a plan. I like plans done quickly once we've got a consultation done, so we have one month for the plan. And then implementation, which we can take, uh, we believe will take up to six months as well. So just to restate, what we need to do is what, understand what does an SME require from the UKTI, maybe adapt our models a little bit and our presentations. Thank you.